I recently came across a YouTube channel from Eric Aberg. Eric's a performance artist and he came up with a concept which he calls Ghost Cube, the idea being to make origami-like structures out of rigid materials like wood and plastic. Eric appears to have run a couple of crowdfunding campaigns to fund manufacturing Ghost Cube kits, and although the last video is from a couple of years ago, there's lots of interesting concepts in his channel. I became really interested in the folding structures, which are all made from cubes joined at the corners in various combinations. This allows rigid and morphing structures to be assembled. Some of these are collapsible rigid structures, and some are curved folding structures. So I thought I'd have a go at making something similar, to see if I could make a shape-shifting robot. The first structure I made is made of 8 simple cardboard cubes attached with tape at the corners. It does various morphing patterns, so I thought I could make something that's a bit like a worm that could push itself along. It can then transform and do the same thing but in a perpendicular direction, which essentially makes it omnidirectional so it could walk in both directions. If it's a robot, it needs to be motorised though, so I began to think about how I could fit servos onto the pivot points, which are of course on the corners of the cubes. So this isn't too hard to work out in CAD, the only challenge is we always get a lump sticking out of the corner doing it this way. And that's really difficult to make the rest of the structure fold flush. And that's going to be the biggest challenge with motorising a structure like this, because the hinges essentially consume zero space made of a thin piece of card or tape. I also thought about putting a smaller servo inside each cube with a pulley to pull strings to pull the adjacent cubes to make the structure fold. It's going to be really difficult to make the hinge still though, and also run in power and data. So I made a lot more cubes, and it's time to consider a structure which actually has a big void in the middle, so we can put in some sort of central motorised control unit to make the whole structure fold. This structure can fold over and over on itself to locomote in one direction, it can then morph and transform to move and do the same thing in a perpendicular direction. However, sometimes there still isn't much space left in the middle, so we have to think again. But what about if the whole structure could roll along? It could have gyroscopes in the middle to drive it, or be dropped from a drone. And then the whole thing could unfold, and it could have solar panels and sensors in so we could collect data. It feels a bit like a Mars lander probe or something like that we could drop into a location, and then use it for scientific measurements. I also considered what would happen if we added some sticks to the structure, like little legs, so as the structure transforms it could use the legs to push itself along or make itself bigger. And we could combine multiple structures here to try and make something that's omnidirectional. I played around in CAD a bit putting some of these structures together, first of all with four of them, and then I moved up to eight. So this seems like it could be quite good if we could suspend them all in the middle somehow and motorise them all. Well, it was a fun couple of days making all these cubes by hand and putting all these structures together, but actually it's going to be really difficult to actuate these. Most of these things have floating points in space, there's no stationary reference and everything moves in multiple axes as the structure transforms, so we'd have to have something like sort of floating pins pushed and pulled by a servo to three points around this to actually be able to transform it, and then to suspend it in space means having it sort of all sprung with springs to the rest of the structure, so it's going to get quite tricky. So thanks to Eric Aberg for the inspiration, what I'm actually going to do is just design an omnidirectional morphing robot the way I want to. Thanks to 3D Fuel for the filament for this project and lots of other projects, so check out my channel for more 3D printing projects and check out 3dfuel.com. I used some TPU to make the sections which join the other sections together which are going to be rigid, so all of these black sections are flexible and they're pretty low density so they're quite flexible and not that firm. Those get screwed into the rigid sections which are all made of rigid blue PLA, so we can see there that the whole thing is going to be quite flexible. 
So I continue joining all the rigid sections together with the flexible sections, and then we can see whether it's likely to morph enough to roll along. Well, it's definitely come out as a ball shape which seems to freely roll along, and it's also very springy as well, so it holds its shape, but it's also flexible, which means we should be able to flex it with an internal mechanism and get it to convincingly roll along. And hopefully it will be omnidirectional, since it's symmetrical and I've got four of these rigid and flexible sections all the way around. I'm using eight of these 20kg torque servos that should be strong enough to morph the whole mechanism. I've attached a 3D printed pivot point, but they come with these metal brackets that are pretty tough. I'm fixing them all down with a little clamp that's got a piece sticking out that goes into the bracket. And all eight of those attach to a central core which has a recess in the middle to put batteries and electronics. I've wired a lot of tails to an Arduino Pro Mini so that we can attach all the servos and also a place for two small lithium polymer batteries. And those are two cell LiPos which is just right to power the servos that need at least 6 volts. I've programmed up a test pattern that just moves all of those servos so that looks pretty convincing, although it's not actually going to be able to do that pattern because the ball can't stretch. To roll along it's going to need to do something more like this so it actually morphs the ball without stretching any of the sides. The mechanism is suspended inside the ball and it's just attached there with servo levers from the pivot points I put on the servo brackets to some extra pivot points I fitted all the way round inside the ball. Apart from that there's nothing holding it there. So there's that same morphing pattern and as you can see it doesn't need to stretch any of the sides so they move freely. I don't think that's enough to make it roll along though, so here's a more extreme version, and we can see we get quite a lot of a morph there. But before we carry on looking at that, it's time for a quick ad from the video's sponsor, which is Free Trade. Free Trade is a commission free investing app. You pay no commissions when buying stocks or exchange traded funds. The Free Trade app has a really simple design, which makes it easy to use for any experience level. You can start investing from just £2. You can also invest in US fractional stocks, so you can invest smaller amounts in expensive stocks like Google and Tesla. Free Trade is a fair and transparent stock broker you can trust. There are no hidden fees or inflated spreads. Over 700,000 investors are on board, and Free Trade has won the British Bank Awards two years in a row for best online trading platform. I really like the simplicity of the app because all the statistics and information is right there in a simple format that's easy to understand. So go to freetrade.io slash James Bruton, download the Free Trade app, create and fund your account to get a free random share worth between three and two hundred pounds. This promotion ends on the 31st of December 2021. You should of course do your own research and make informed decisions though. Remember, as with all investments, your capital is at risk, the value of your portfolio can go down as well as up, and you may get back less than what you invest. Right, let's get on with the project. So, yep, looks like it's going to work. But getting it to roll any distance and getting it to roll on carpets actually a lot harder than that. I tried slowing down the timers so it morphs more slowly, and also altering the timers between the two sets of morphs so they're not the same. However, it's really hard to still get it to roll along and keep rolling, and that's because it builds up momentum as it goes, and it probably needs to increase, which means the timers need to get shorter. If I lie it on its side, it can however self-start, which is pretty good, so I don't need to push it anymore, but it tends to get stuck on the ends sometimes. It's time to try a smooth surface and see how that goes, so it's time to try on the kitchen floor, and that immediately seems to roll a lot easier, but it's still not necessarily consistent.
Sometimes it just rolls along, but all of the best ones go out of shot. I had a feeling that when it rolls over the ends, that slows it down and it loses sync. And that's because the end is basically quite flat, and that's due to the hole that I put into the design. And that means it always settles on the end. So I decided to plug that with a rigid piece of PLA, and I've just pushed that into the TPU. So now it doesn't necessarily settle on the end, although it does settle at some other points, but hopefully that'll help it roll over. And if I can give it a shove and get it started right, that seems to immediately make a big difference. Now I could have saved the best bits of the footage for this and just selectively edited it so it looked great, but in reality it's still not totally consistent. So there are multiple issues with this design. The first one is of course as it rolls it builds up inertia and it gets faster, or at least it's easier to roll, but the timers are on fixed timers so they don't change. So what we really need is an inertial measurement unit in here that can at least work out which way up it is and also optionally what angle it's at so that it can morph in the right direction to roll in the most optimal way and also change direction and do all those other things. And of course this was designed to be omnidirectional because we've got four of these things that all flex and the whole thing is symmetrical all the way around for all of the four sides. The other problem is that basically I can only morph it in a certain way because everything is mechanically linked here, so there's only certain patterns that will do. I can't stretch one of these sides out on its own because they're basically not stretchy without stretching something else, essentially symmetrically, and that's a bit of a problem. So it'd be quite good if I could basically morph one side out without having to change the others. Then we could also roll this way as well, which I currently can't do because all it can do is get bigger like an American football that way and rounder that way. So actually, thinking about Ghost Cube again that I mentioned at the beginning, having these morphing sections, if we had a ball made of these and we could have the sort of thing where one side can morph and it can stretch or it can transform or poke a thing out to push it along, that might be better for rolling in all directions properly. So I'm going to come back to this. I still want to think about this because I think it's very interesting. See if I can perhaps make a ball structure with these sorts of cubes put together it gives us more flexibility in the morphing and of course put cleverer electronics in so it knows what it's doing. So I'm going to publish the CAD and code for this if you want to have a go at building one, see if you can do a better job than I did. And that's all in the link in the description below. So if you'd like to support me through Patreon or YouTube channel membership, those links are in the description as well. And patrons and YouTube channel members can get access to all the videos up to a week early, as well as sneak peeks and pictures to be part of that discussion. Alright, that's all for now.